hello and welcome to diy agric if you have subscribed to the channel welcome back and if you are new this is diy agric your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you four key ways to maximize your broiler growth yes if you have broilers and it's like their weight is disappointing these four ways are going to transform your experience with your broilers uh, starting from the next batch or even this current one that you probably have you can still improve their weight uh, by the time you listen to everything that i have to say you will become a better broiler farmer so let's dive in sorry about the way the audio is coming out i misplaced the audio cord that i used and um, this one i just got is like whack and um, you know i just have to manage it i need to put out this video today so there's no postponing okay so the first thing that you want to know is good chicks yeah of course good chicks will determine the kind of result that you get yeah i know that most of you who have been following this series you know that i have uh noilers and i have broilers uh, i've even separated them i have the noilers and turkeys on the other end i know the noilers are stubborn you can see this one has come to this side okay so that is what most of you know but actually even among the broilers i added a few about 10 pieces of another breed so i have these ones that are just starting to have their feather and they are really big most of them are around 1.8 kg 1.9 kg and they're just 28 days today they're just two or uh, they're just four weeks old today so you can see these ones are just starting to have their feather fill their body but there are some that i marked with green yeah let me get this one for example yeah this one for example i marked it with green they had their feather a long time ago and you can see they are smaller mm, i think this might be the smallest of the ones that i marked it's not as if they are that bad i, I yesterday when i weighed them they were about 1.5 kg not that bad I know today some of them will be giving us 1.6 and that is actually the standard that's what you should get but you see the difference is just clear these other ones are giving me 2 kg already today 2 kg 1.8 1.9 1.7 so your cheek quality would also determine the kind of results that you get and it's important that you just buy from good source you understand the breed quality that i've always been talking about and you maximize this based on the kind of result that you want you know if you want your best to go out within five to six weeks maximum you know you know the kind of breed that you select this ones you know imagine having two kg already at four weeks they are good for processing as they are so imagine selling your birds at four weeks or maybe four weeks and a few days just to make the few of them that are not up to two kg to patch up you know that's a fantastic result that you can get so the breed or the quality of your cheeks is very important and the next thing i like to talk about is their housing the place where you are keeping your birds very important it's very important that this place is suitable you know i talk about the comfort zone experience the your ability to make your birds comfortable at every point in time in nigeria for example the weather already tells us that it's hard to get the comfort zone imagine at this time we are having 34 degrees although this is up here maybe if you come down it may be a little lower but then it's high the temperature is high for them and you know some of them if you see the position they are taking they are they are lying on their side and just align the cool breeze to touch their their chest their breast uh, region so that they can cool off they are not comfortable so your housing should try as your housing should be made in such a way that it provides the maximum comfort that you can as much as you can for the best for example you have to make it in the east west orientation so that the rate at which the solar radiation penetrates the house is minimized okay and also you want to ensure that the house has ventilation on the both sides on this side there's free air coming in on this other side there's free air coming in i had to raise this curtain but I, I think the breeze has brought it down again i'm going to go outside to raise it again so you lift the curtains when they are around this age they need all the breeze that they can get okay so that's that about the housing anything that you can do to provide them comfort even the liters i decided to use this 
cheap meter because I know that a lot of my fans are using this and they may not be able to buy the wood shavings, the wood chips, which is usually sold around here all the time and they may not be able to get it but you can have access to something like this. However, don't use this when they are still between the age of one day old uh, to about two and three weeks. I won't use this around that time. So use it when they are much older so that it doesn't give them so much irritation and when they are still very young, most of them can decide to pick it up and start to eat it and that can cause crop impaction, indigestion and death. Okay, so the third thing I would like to talk about is your response to health issues or health challenges. I tell you, these birds are not entirely free of diseases. Sometimes you see trace of maybe coccidiosis or respiratory diseases or any other kind of disease but your ability to respond swiftly and give them what they need will determine if they can carry on or give you the kind of weight that you want i tell you when your chickens suffer from diseases for just two days it's enough to reduce their weight to something you don't expect at all so you need to be uptight you need to be proactive in terms of disease management and for those of us who are practicing organic poultry like you can see here these birds are organic chickens those of us practicing organic poultry we have charts we have series of medications that we give them from time to time that we don't even allow them to fall sick as you can see this birds here are healthy the broilers the noilers and even the turkeys they are all doing fine so you need to be proactive in terms of disease management diseases are your enemies and you must do all that you can to prevent them from taking over your flock and finally feeding basically what the birds do or what the chickens do is to just convert your feed into meat you, you see them growing from day to day, especially the broilers now. You see they grow real fast and, you know, they just convert your feed to meat in sh a very short period of time, in a short amount of time. They are big already. You see we are having 2 kg in just 28 days. It's all the work of feed. And, you know, you have to give them the right feed for this kind of performance. Not every feed will give you this kind of result. So you have to select the kind of feed that is good enough to cater for their protein needs, their energy needs. You know, all kinds of nutrients that they require, you have to give them inside the feed. So the feed is very important. And the feed takes about 70% of your cost of production so you want to ensure that you get the right feed and the right result and just before you think that getting the best feed alone is enough to give you the best result no not even the farmer that has the best feed gets the best result but you know there's something we'll call feed management you need to know the right time to give feed and the right time to withdraw as you can see right now their feeders are raised because the temperature is hot and they've had enough in the morning so you have to raise it up around this time so that they can cool off they just drink lots and lots of water so that few hours of break that they have will not arm them will not kill them as a matter of fact it is very important in digestion of the feed that they have eaten and in the conversion to meat so like i always advise the cool periods of the day is the best time to give your chickens all the feed that they can get generally it's good to give them some break after some hours of feeding you give them some break like two three hours of break but then in the night i don't do that because i believe in the night time is the time i have to cover up for all of the fasting that they have done during the day as a matter of fact they don't eat for up to four hours or even five sometimes in the afternoon so they need to really cover up you will see them in the evening by the time i give them the by the time i give them access to feed how they would rush for the feed so as much as possible you need to be able to give them feed when they need it not just feed all the time because if you give them feed all the time from the age of four weeks especially you may begin to see deaths because of the heat stress many of them may be having heat stroke and they will shut down 
and that is dead as you can see some of them are lying on their side right now like this guy here and you can see the way they are breathing yeah it's a good thing that this flock is without crd chronic respiratory disease but in a case where there is chronic respiratory disease the issue of its management becomes even severe so you have to be very careful in feeding your birds so are we really going to talk about feeding without talking about the perfect companion of chicken feed which is water clean cool water your ability to give your birds access to clean and fresh water all the time will maximize your results your outcome immensely Studies have shown that birds that have access to clean and cool water all day convert their feet better than others. You know, even as humans, you need water to digest your feet and, you know, to live healthy, to lubricate your muscles, the moving parts of the body. You need to get them lubricated and all the organs of the body require water for functioning. So your ability to provide them with clean and fresh water all day is just one way to the top so apart from the excellent feed that we have here are some of the organic preparations that are giving us this result here on the left is the egg emotion the organic growth promoter that we have chosen and they have been taking this at least two times in a week yes and this also here is the lactobacillus the probiotic that does the magic it aids digestion improves assimilation of the nutrients and all that you know it's also useful in the fight against bad bacteria and if you look at the chickens especially considering the amount of weight they have been able to put on in such a short amount of time you'll be expecting that they should have leg problems i mean some of them should be unable to walk but then their legs as big as they are are also very strong this is because we have adopted the method of giving calcium supplements early in their life from the age of one, one week we give them calcium supplements and this calcium supplementation helps a lot overall there's nothing as rewarding as bringing in bags of feed daily and seeing that the bears are responding well to the feed they are hitting it and also gaining weight as a result of the good feed that you are giving them you know it's just so rewarding it's a feeling that you can't substitute for any other thing and this is one of the reasons why you need to embrace these four principles that i've just taught you the first one is you select good and healthy chicks the second one is you provide good environment good housing for them and the third one is to respond fast to disease challenges that they may have and the last but not the least is feeding adequate feeding good and correct feed management all right so i believe that you also can have a bumper harvest anytime any day as a result of these tips that i'm sharing and in case you are here to subscribe to the channel you want to hit that subscribe button and if you like what i've just shared with you give us a thumbs up thank you and bye bye